Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how you can share the file as read only or basically how you can put some of the controls over file to secure the file content. You don't want people to edit the file. You just want to share it with a specific set of people and not allow the download. All of that basically you can do in the Teams. Okay. Now say for example, here previously we went to the chat, right? So we shared a particular file now this file I want to do some configuration here right so if simply on that particular file okay if you say for example I simply go ahead and uh, click on that file okay so let me open this so as soon as this file is being shared in the teams chat anyone who is part of that particular chat can basically access right and if you haven't put any controls they can do any of the changes here so how we can control or how we can make sure that only the relevant people are basically allowed right so what we have to do is we have to simply click on these ellipses here and if you click on this copy link it will open the pop-up here and you can basically you know this is the link for that particular file right now here at the bottom you'll see that anyone with the link can edit so if you click on this here we can control what settings you want to specify here so here I want to ensure that only specific people can access so I can click on specific people and I can put the name and group of the people who want to access or whom I want to put the or give the access so either the full group email or name you can specify accordingly right and then here in the settings other settings you can see that I can only change it to can view okay so I have changed it to can view and then I also don't want people to download so I can simply say okay block download just turn that on okay and now only people specific people that I'll specify here okay so for example I say uh, RCV Academy members or some specific member okay so only this particular person will be allowed to access this particular file okay so this is how we are going to basically provide access to this particular file now let me remove that and I'll simply say people in your organization with the link right but I'll simply change it to can view okay so only view option should be there and block the download I'll apply that okay and then you know I can simply copy this link and then share this link to the person okay so now what will happen is whosoever will, will be getting this link they can only view okay and won't be able to do any changes right so this is how you are going to restrict the access right now what will happen here okay so if say for example in the chat itself when we have shared this particular file so if I try to open let's see what happens in the chat so here the edit is still there right so I can still go ahead and edit why because this has been shared in the chat group itself right so within the chat it is going to be as is now the changes that you have done is basically while sharing this file to some other audience so when you are share creating a share link or sharing uh, the link there you are restricting the roles and access in that particular case so the link that will be generated after you have updated all of those those details will whomsoever will be accessing that won't be allowed to access or uh, basically edit this this particular file this is in the chat now if we go to the teams and channels right so here this is the best way to basically share right so if say for example within the testing squad there are certain files okay now I'm going to restrict the access okay so here you will see the share option is there so same thing we can do here in the copy link as well and you will see that who can basically so same thing here we have these settings and then what they can basically do or if we want to block the download okay so all of this you can update here itself now if say for example within this file itself okay I click on this ellipses here all right and then go to the details or simply go to the manage access right so click on the manage access now here we can update the manage access or the access of this file in this particular channel so I can stop sharing right or links giving access so if I say for example stop sharing okay so this will delete all links giving access to this item and remove all people with direct access except the owners so once you do stop sharing any link that you would have created and shared this particular file will all be removed and only owners will be having the access so if I click on stop sharing you can see that all 
the sharing has stopped okay now there are no sharing links for this item okay and who has the direct access only sprint owners have the direct access okay now if say for example i want to grant this access to particular people i click on the grant access and then here i change this access to only view okay so i don't want people to edit it so i can specify the group name so say for example i want there is no group okay that's fine uh i think there is some group so say for example rcv academy members okay and i simply want the view okay and then grant access so now this icon will appear and if i click on the manage access you will see that anyone else okay so here sprint members have this edit access but i can change it directly from here to only view or stop sharing okay so i can change it to only view and then anyone who is part of these groups will have only the view access to this particular file right now apart from file you have a different option so basically if you go here in the new you will see that we have option to create the folders as well so let me create a folder simply with folder one okay now within this folder i can have multiple files so for example i have the word document I'll say doc1, let me go back, I don't want to open it and I will create another Excel sheet, okay, doc2. So now at the folder level as well, I can put the restrictions, all right, so if I click on these ellipses here and click on manage access, I can straight away restrict the access to only view here from the drop down to the groups that I want to share this particular folder with, okay, and this is basically at the folder level, I'm, I'm doing these changes right so if you are doing the changes at the folder level any file that is there within this particular folder people will be having only read only access for the files that are there in this particular folder so this is at the wider level if say for example within the folder there are uh, sensitive information you don't want people to edit and you only want to people have a look at that information then you can provide or put that restriction at the folder level itself right and along with that you can also do more detail or basically restrict the downloads and restrict or basically when you are sharing somebody is sharing then also uh, making sure that they can only basically view and not edit anything in the files that are there in this particular folder right if you want to do a specific file access then simply go to the file specific file go to the ellipses and click on manage access and change the access for that particular specific file all right so this is briefly how you are going to restrict access to certain folders and files within teams to only relevant people and only allow them to make any relevant changes or have only read only access to the files within teams so that's all for this tutorial I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.